Hey Sag, Sagittarius, so welcome to my channel, Revolution. Welcome guys, I'm so happy to have you here. So Sagittarius, this is a timeless tarot reading for whenever you watch this, this may or may not apply with you as this is a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of people. Also make sure you like, share and subscribe in case you love the content. Okay, so uh, Sagittarius, either you are trying to get a nose piercing done or you're feeling very eccentric, like I'm also feeling eccentric in your reading. So I came on with this filter, you know, I just wanted to try something different. So I feel like you're trying something different. You're coming up with new ideas. Okay, so let's see what is it that the universe has a spell on you. Okay, about so let's see. What kind of spell does the universe have you under right now? Whenever you're watching this. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. In case guys you don't know how to check your sign, please check in the description box below. The details are given there. Okay. So I feel like you are feeling very um, casual. Okay. But I feel like there's someone who's bringing in some drama in your life right now. So let's see. What kind of a spell does the universe have Sagittarius under right now? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see. Scorpio, uh, Scorpio? Okay, you are dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Casper. Okay. I just did that very unconsciously. Like, okay, so I... Ooh, look at that. As I said, someone's bringing drama in your life. There's Justice card. Okay. So this is all about being balanced being neutral okay which you are excellent at sagittarius because you do not like to take sides you although you are opinionated but there is a libra in your life okay that is really interested in you that's also what i'm seeing but regarding anything where you are being forced into doing something that you're not willing to do okay there's a sense of tainted fame in some way okay that i'm getting here as I'm channeling from the divine, I'm getting that. So if someone's offering you some sort of tainted fame, okay? Like it's giving you power, but uh, there's a tainted um, aspect to it, okay? That you cannot trust. So yeah, that's also what I'm seeing here. But I feel like universe wants you to be very, very just, very balanced, okay? Think about the law of karma before... Uh, taking a decision okay think about it because justice is on your side any form of unfairness that was done to you or towards you right that is going to be resolved as you're watching this there's also a libra either you have libra heavily in your chart or someone else does okay wow look at that the libra i think you should watch the libra reading also there's a connection to this because I feel like uh, this, uh, you could be like someone you know could be in jail and they are finally getting free from jail, freedom from the justice system, right? Because they have um, dealt with their whole sentence basically, okay? But yeah, I feel like you feel trapped, okay? This could be within a connection, within a relationship because someone is extremely dramatic or brings on a lot of drama in your life and you're like, move bitch like just get out of my way right like that's how you are feeling from the inside that's i'm channeling right now for you guys okay so yeah universe is supporting your um your sense of perception in the situation like what are you gonna do whatever you do do it from a legal standpoint or from a just standpoint okay don't be biased or don't be favored against anyone or for anyone okay be in the middle that's what i'm getting that's how it will lead to your freedom here beautiful all right so let's dive in my loves let's see what the universe wants from you right now what does universe want from sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node pertaining to the spell what does the universe want from Sagittarius Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Moon let's see let's see 
death in reverse okay so Saj, I feel like um, there is a situation that you are not able to let go of okay it just doesn't end it just doesn't end like there's something that's sticking on to you like all over you and you're just like oh how do I get out of this now this could be the COVID situation I'm not too sure what are the rules and regulations in your country but this could be that but this is a heavy reaction to something like that this could be either that because Sagittarius you guys rule freedom so if you don't feel free in a situation you feel trapped then this is how you become you become like oh okay because there's someone who's holding on to you now this could be a Scorpio Libra Casper that's holding on to you or a Scorpio or a Libra right yeah justice in reverse oh my god this is uh, an angry Scorpio who just lashed out at you an angry Libra who lashed out at you in the past okay but this is surprising right with the justice card upright it's saying that everything will be in your favor regarding the situation whatever this person did to you is like you know they're going to come back and apologize for it because they can't let go of it okay they have done something illegal i don't know it's like you caught someone doing something illegal or you're trapped with people who do illegal things or you want to get out of it or this is you who's doing it and someone else wants to get out of a relationship with you just take it how it relates guys wow okay so in the past i'm seeing you holding on to a situation this could be someone else holding on to you for dear life they don't want to let go they don't want changes they don't want something new so they're codependent on you because you know all their deep and dark secrets is what i'm getting sagittarius because you have the potential of dealing with a lot sagittarius like you uh can know a lot of things and not react to them okay so that's what this person took the advantage of is what i'm getting hermit wow so many majors sagittarius and this is all dark cards okay i'm seeing here so in the present i feel like you're focusing on being completely detached from this person completely um you know trying to take your space okay trying to heal meditate take care of your own self first because that's how you can take care of others you are you know you are taking in that philosophy of doing that right tell me about sagittarius what is sagittarius dealing with currently this could also be a virgo that you're dealing with or you have virgo in your chart and you are finally uh, researching on something alone you want to be alone this is nine of swords in reverse yes so you are trying to disconnect from this person because this person made you feel like you know you cannot you have to like either you have to be up with them all night and do things with them all night i don't know you know it's something where you're trying to go at it alone and heal the situation alone because this person did something that it's it's just i don't know it's just hard for you to forget something that this person did to you okay You're finally releasing the negative thoughts that you have been surrounded with. Okay, you feel like, you feel guilty about something. Uh, but now you're finally releasing that guilt about disconnecting from this person especially. Okay. Wow. So in the future, the situation is heading to a ten of cups in reverse. This is a split up, break up, divorce. In case you were inquiring about this relationship and if you are going to get the freedom that you deserve, yes. Sagittarius, it's about deciding what makes you truly happy, right? If you're not happy in the situation, you don't have anything to look forward to. No plans being made here, okay? It seems like a very heavy situation where you are just feeling very, very trapped. And I feel like you are also... Um, this could be someone who really overspends here or overspends your money. You know, you feel like this person doesn't have anyone else or anything else to go back to, but they only have you. So now you are stuck with them. So you try to take your time away from them from time to time. Okay. But this is a situation that uh, either you are resisting for it to end or this other person is resisting the end of it, which is causing the other person to go silent or go away from the other person so that the other person can take some breathing space. And I feel like this is you, Sagittarius. That's why you're watching my reading right now. But this could also be the cross watcher, right? You must be wondering what's going on with Sagittarius. Well, this is what is going on. They're not happy with the situation. And they want the situation to improve, to be fair, to be balanced and just, okay? To be neutral. 
the situation cannot be like you know you uh, you know it cannot be on double standards that's what i'm getting okay because there's a person who believes in double standards like i can do this but you can't okay this the, there's a male masculine energy that behaves like that with you saji or this is you who does this to other people so this pattern has to break because the universe is putting you on a spell of justice okay but you have to come from a place of integrity if you don't you're going to receive the karma for that and if another person has do, has been doing something illegal towards you unfair towards you then this person is definitely going to receive a heavy karma okay because spirits of justice are literally with you watching watching their every move you know so that's what i'm seeing here this person could be a virgo i like i said a pisces as well uh Virgo heavy I'm getting of course and Aries as well yeah all right so this is what is happening and it's quite intense Saji so let's see what is the advice for you all right let's see what is the advice for Sagittarius pertaining to the spread Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node let's see but this Libra is heavily thinking about you if you have ghosted them, Sagittarius, okay? They don't want you to have the freedom, but you do. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, now the cards just suddenly stop, like they don't want me to pull more for you. But Sagittarius, you rule truth, right? So you want to know the whole truth, regardless. So tell me about, give me an advice pertaining to the spread, Asaji. Wow, look at that. As I said, you're taking your time out from this person deep quiet it's a time to go in your shell Sagittarius it's time for deep meditation before you talk to this person before you communicate with this person this person has done something unfair completely they just like they just blew their own position in your life in some way okay but spirits are asking you to focus on your life on your own stillness here because it's like you feel very, very restricted in a certain area that you are in. And spirits are asking you to be there and to face that restlessness within you. Why is it that you feel restless? Okay. And 11. Beautiful. That's another master number. Yeah. You're taking a break from your friends. The internet. Maybe you're planning on going on a social media detox, you know, being away from your phone. Because, you know, that really helps Sagittarius. Like if you go away from your phone for at least 10 to 15 days that really helps in gaining your momentum back in your life especially after you go through some terrible situations okay beautiful so let's read this for you my loves let's um yeah let's see oh wow instantly i got it it's your energy saji deep quiet when deep quiet appears, it is a message from the cosmos calling you to stillness, to step outside the concerns of your everyday life. This does not mean to slow down and take a breath, although that is a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to go deep to that place where the noise stops and there is only the vast emptiness of inner space. Vipassana is highly recommended, guys. Highly, okay? When we don't respond to the invitation offered by the deep quiet, life can stop us in our tracks with an illness or a crisis. Sagittarius, this is a warning, right? Um, and I'm also getting that the person who did this to you, if they did it on purpose to hurt you especially, which I'm seeing in the cards, this person is definitely going to receive a lot of karma for that, okay? Especially with an illness or a crisis. Listen to the still, small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. And it is only human to argue that you are too busy to slow down, that you don't have the time, the inclination or the money for the retreat. Do not let any of these reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. After you have said yes to this invitation, you will find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. So like I was saying, you want to take a retreat away from people, you know, and it's a great time to do that because it's already advising you to do this, to get a clear perspective on the situation, to get justice for the situation, 
okay to also release your karma related to this situation because there's some karmic debt that we come here to balance out and i think you are also doing that right now sagittarius with this situation there's a karmic debt that you had to pay but it's releasing now and time to go within to realize what it is that makes you emotionally fulfilled by yourself without needing anyone else emotionally to fulfill you to respond to you or to validate your feelings okay so yes it's universe coming in with a very uh, strict attitude towards you but it's also trying to tame you for the best possible outcome for your future okay my love so i hope you uh, enjoyed this reading please let me know uh, how you like it in the comments down below and uh, like share and subscribe so thank you take care peace